Venus. It's beautiful, it's mysterious, and of all the planets orbiting the Sun, Venus is the most screwed up in the solar system. Venus is the second planet closest to its parent star, Sol, our Sun. It orbits the Sun every 224 Earth days, but it does so backwards. Weird, isn't it? To the naked eye, the planet looks like a very bright star. The best time to observe it will be just before dawn and just after nightfall. Venus is roughly the same size of the Earth, but the similarities end there. For starters, unlike Earth or Mars, it has no moon, making it both lonely and without a wingman. Another interesting aspect of its orbit is the transits of Venus. These occur when the planet passes its orbit across the face of the Sun. These are extremely rare events that happen every 100 years. The last one happened on July of 2012. So if you missed that one, sorry! Venus was known to ancient peoples, who knew it as the morning and evening stars as two different objects. It was only much later that Venus was discovered to be a single entity. The Mayans had based their calendar on its rotations, which didn't cause any problems until 2012. This did not cause the end of the world as some had predicted, but rather, lunacy. It was the Romans who gave Venus its name. They named it after their goddess of love. Little did they know that the actual surface of Venus was anything but love. It is hell. For a long time, the Venusian surface was unknown. Some people even thought it had a swamp. With dinosaurs. Yeah, really. A thick layer of clouds masks its surface from telescopes. These clouds are not made from water vapour like on Earth but rather sulfuric acid. So yeah, probably not so good for your tomatoes. We only got a good look at Venus' surface during the 1970s, when the probes took a look. When the radar images came back to Earth, it revealed a harsh landscape. Venus was a world not unlike those seen on Earth or Mars. A vast terrain of smooth rocky plains, seemingly carved, from water. Oh yeah, Venus did have water at one point. Long ago, Venus had oceans and lakes, but because of its weak magnetic field and thin atmosphere, it is assumed that the sun would have blown the water away over many many years. Today the planet is a hothouse. It's global warming that's gone crazy. Its sulfuric clouds traps the greenhouse effect causing the planet to bake itself from the inside. Told you the place was screwed up. It is by far the hottest planet in the solar system, beating Mercury, which is in fact closer to the Sun. Its surface temperature can reach over 460 degrees Celsius. Nothing can withstand the temperature on Venus, not even the probes that landed there. For example, the probe Venera 8 lasted less than an hour on its surface. Venus's winds are very powerful, strong enough to generate lightning, and if that wasn't bad enough, the planet has more volcanoes than Earth. Also, because the planet wasn't fatal enough already, it produces enormous pressure. Standing on the Venusian surface would be like standing on the floor of the ocean one kilometre down. It would crush you. Look, just take my word for it. If you're going to go to Venus, you're going to die. Despite it being the most hostile place in the solar system, Venus is still an intriguing planet. To the naked eye, it looks beautiful and charming, a pale rose-coloured star symbolising love and womanhood. On the surface, it's a hellish wasteland, straight out of a death metal stage show. But I guess that's why we're all fascinated by it. Venus has two sides to it. It's love and death, and this is what makes it so special.